Hi, Philip from GoBros here, and today I'm going to do a how-to video on how to sideload with a Mac. So there's been lots of videos online on how to sideload on a PC. And those of you who are new to the channel, uh, my brother and I do a show called Go Bros, where we review multiplayer games for the Oculus Go. The Oculus Go is a mobile VR device. And although it's got a lot of amazing apps and stuff on it, because it's an Android device, you can also do a little workaround and do what's called sideloading apps onto the Oculus Go to where you can do some 2D experiences on the Go and even sideload some Gear VR apps apps that aren't available for the Oculus Go. Why would someone want to do this? Well, what's really nice about the Oculus Go is that it's um, a mobile virtual reality device, which means you don't have to plug it into a computer or anything like that. And it's real easy to just put it on, lay in bed, watch a movie. But sometimes it might be fun to lay in bed and play a mobile uh, video game. Uh, a game like might be simple solitaire game, might be something a little bit more complex like RuneScape or even Minecraft. You can do it all simply easily by sideloading those Android apps onto your Oculus Go headset and you can do it in the dark. And like if you're in bed, you won't just disturb your spouse. Um, and it's a really cool thing you can do. Originally, I wasn't really excited about it. I kind of wanted to just keep my Oculus Go kind of stock. But then I started seeing all these other cool things that people were doing on the Oculus Go. And I decided, shoot, I'll give it a try. So there's lots of resources out there that show you how to sideload an Android device with a PC. Um, but there's not really a lot of great tutorials out there on how to do it on the Mac. So since I have two Oculus Go's, one for myself, one for my wife, um, I didn't have her set up to do that yet. So I decided to take a MacBook and see what it would take to use the MacBook to sideload apps onto the Oculus Go. Step one, you got to enable developer mode. Now, the Oculus website does a really good job of explaining how to enable developer go developer mode on your Oculus Go. Um, so on, I have put together a little presentation, a little PowerPoint keynote presentation on with all of these steps. Um, I originally put it all together to give to my brother because he's a, only has Macs in his house. And if he ever wanted to side load his Oculus Go, he would need some steps for Mac. Um, so I'll be including the links in the description of this video. Um, I may even eventually share this presentation that's gonna be showing in front of me and behind me. Um, that way it's easier for you to find the links and click on them. Step two, enable ADB commands. So Macintosh computers, they have something called the terminal. And on the PC, it's usually called a command. Um, and they work in very similar ways. And so we want to be able to do in the Mac terminal is run ADB commands that you can usually do pretty easily on the Windows PC anyways. So I found a solution for this by just Googling and I found a great post on Stack Overflow that shows how to do this. So the first thing we have to do is install um, Homebrew. Um, some of you out there who are more tech savvy may be familiar with different home blue brew applications and tools. I remember back in the day um, when I had my Wii, my Nintendo Wii, you could install homebrew apps on that. Um, and it was You could even uh, back up your games to CDs or DVDs and play them through a homebrew application. Um, so maybe you're familiar with homebrew, maybe you're not. You don't really need to know what it is if you follow all these steps. Even somebody who's not tech savvy should be able to follow these steps on a Mac and be able to successfully sideload an application. So you're going to enter this command that I am displaying on screen now. And then once you've done it, you're going to press return and you'll be prompted to enter a password. And just keep in mind, as you're typing that password, you probably won't see it. So make sure you're typing it very carefully on your keyboard. Watch as you type and then press return and it should follow the process. So once Homebrew has installed, you're going to install ADB, which is that's the whole, that's what you need to sideload. And so here's the following command displayed on screen now that you will need to put in in order to install ADB. So once Android platform tools has installed, you just simply type ADB devices into the terminal and press enter. So if you already have your Oculus Go plugged in, which I omitted from the steps, you probably want to do already have your Oculus Go plugged in. If you have the Oculus Go plugged in, um, you may already see it on 
the list of devices. It won't say Oculus Go. It'll just have, I think, your Oculus Go's Mac address maybe listed there. Um, if it's not detecting any devices, then your device list in the terminal window when you type ADB devices won't have anything listed there. So what you need to do is you need to put on your Oculus Go headset, or if you're doing this on an Android phone or something like that, you'll probably get a prompt um, to enable a mode. Now with the Oculus Go, you need to, it'll say you need to enable debug mode. You'll have a pop-up, you just use your Oculus Go controller and choose to allow debug mode. Step three, connect to Oculus Go via ADB. So at this point, we've really done most of the complicated stuff. We've made it to where the Android platform tools are installed. And um, at this point, you've already got your Oculus Go in developer mode. And um, we've got debug mode turned on. So your computer should see your Oculus Go now. And we should just be able to run ADB commands um, that we've seen videos for all over the internet now at this point for Windows. But now we should be able to do the same steps on the Mac. So again, if no devices are displayed after you enter the command ADB devices, you may need to look in your Oculus Go and again allow the connection to your Mac. You may be prompted to update the Android file transfer after you allow the connection inside your Oculus Go. This is only if you've already have the Android file transfer application installed and it was like an older version. So if you didn't already have it installed, then the newest version should be installed and already good to go. Otherwise, it'll prompt you to update it. Sometimes the Oculus Go doesn't show up in the ADB list. And there's a lot of different reasons this could happen. Um, I've seen many posts on Reddit and like Facebook groups where people couldn't get ADB to work with their Go on their Windows computer. And um, what I had that issue for months and I finally opened up a ticket with Oculus support, which I should have done at the beginning. And they suggested, hey, make sure you have this version of the ADB drivers installed. So once I installed the right version of ADB drivers, it worked marvelously, marvelously for me on my Windows machine. But there's some other things to look out for too when you're on the Mac. If the Oculus Go is the only, um, I should say, I'll have to update my slides. On my notes, it says if the Oculus Go is the only ad device plugged in. If the Oculus Go is the only ADB device plugged into your Mac and no devices are listed when you enter the ADB devices command, you may need to do some extra steps. In your home folder, press this keyboard shortcut, command plus shift plus period. Now you're not holding down the plus key, you're just holding command, shift, period, on your keyboard all at the same time in that order. Hold command, hold shift, hold period. Okay, so then you'll see the dot Android folder visible. You want to open up that. If there is not a file called adb underscore USB dot INI, it can be added by typing this command into the terminal. That echo command you see on the screen now. All right, so you'll want to right click the adb underscore USB dot INI file and open it with text edit. Okay, text edit's pre-installed on all Mac computers, so just right click on it with your mouse. Um, if you have a laptop, MacBook, something like that, you might use two fingers to tap on your um, touchpad to enable right click, or usually control single click with your touchpad will give the right click command. And you should see open or open with, choose open with and choose text edit. Next, you need to add the vendor ID of your Oculus Go to the file. You can find this in the system information application located in your Mac's utility folder. So your Oculus Go will be listed under hardware, USB, and should be displayed as VR-headset. Add the vendor ID you find to the file, then save the file and quit. Any changes you make, you may need to run the command ADB kill server and then ADB devices again in the terminal okay so you may find that adb devices still isn't showing your oculus go so you may need to type adb kill server press enter and then press adb devices press enter again i mean type those out don't press those step four download and install applications apk files so for some folks you may have gotten all those other steps and you're like okay well now how do i get the android files that I'm going to then sideload onto my Oculus Go. So what I do, and the easiest way I found to do it, is there's an extension you can install into Google Chrome. This works on Windows, this works on Mac. 
So I will include the download link in this video's description. It's also displayed on screen, but you're not going to really hand type that, are you? Um, and so what it's called is called APKey Downloader. It's a Chrome extension, and it makes it really easy to download the AP key, APK files from the Google Play Store. So once you have that extension installed into Google Chrome, and that's a web browser, so it doesn't come pre-installed on the Mac. So if you don't have Google Chrome on the Mac, in order to make this work, you're probably going to want to install Google Chrome. Just go to probably chrome.google.com and find the browser and install it. And really, most people have Google Chrome already installed on their Mac because they want it for some reason or another. So make sure that's installed. Then you can add that um, APK installer extension, and then you're good to go. So once you have that extension in and you're in the Google Chrome web browser, go to play.google.com and search for any app you want to install. Now, I haven't tried this with paid apps yet, but I imagine if you log in with your Google account ID and you find a purchased app that you want to install, as long as you're logged in, I imagine this will all work. Now, I haven't tried any paid apps yet because I have an iPhone, um, so I've never really purchased an Android app, but I may give it a shot in the future because there may be some paid apps that could be a lot of fun um, playing on my Oculus Go. So once you're on the apps page that you want to install, which in future videos, um, I'm, I'm in want to do a special series of called sideload success where I um, actually show you some Android apps that I found are really fun in the Oculus Go and work. So take a look out for that series in the future. So you're going to copy the address from the top of your web browser. Once you're on the page of the app you want to install, you're going to copy that. You're going to click the AP key downloader extension icon to the right of the Google Chrome address bar. And you're going to paste the URL from that application that you copied from your address bar, and then click Generate Download Link, and then click Download APK. Once you've installed the APK, you may want to rename the file to something simple, because a lot of times these APKs have pretty long file names. Um, there's a reason for that, but you don't really need to know. I usually just try to make it a nice one word, simple thing that I can remember what it is. Um, because what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to type the file name of that file into the terminal in just a moment. So in terminal, you need to change the directory to where you downloaded your APK. For me, it went to my downloads folder. So in terminal, I typed CD downloads. Then enter the command adb install file name dot apk so you're going to replace where it says your file name on the slide and you're going to put the actual file name of your apk file you installed if you see a success message your apk is now installed on your oculus go so congratulations if you're not very tech savvy all of this may have went over your head um, some of this went over my head but i've done this so many times and similar things that i was able to get through it if you get the success, pat yourself on the back, especially if you're not tech savvy, because really all the real work is done. Step five, you're going to run your app and you might want to install an app launcher. So next, what you're going to do is on your Oculus Go headset. Now, if you weren't here because you have an Oculus Go and you were just looking for an Android device, you're pretty much done and you can close out this video. But if you don't have an Oculus Go and you're interested in virtual reality, I encourage you to go buy one. There's a lot of people selling them used now because there's a, an Oculus Quest that's also a mobile VR headset that's out now. So I don't really encourage you to buy a brand new one. Check Facebook Marketplace, check Craigslist, or friends outside the United States, whatever you all use to buy uh, electronics secondhand. Get yourself a nice secondhand Oculus Go. You could probably get a 32 gigabyte version one for around the $100 price point if you really haggle, and maybe the 64 gigabyte one for around 150 bucks if you find one in the right place. All right, but if you're here because you want to get these apps working on your Oculus Go, stick around for the rest of the video. Find Oculus TV in your library on the Oculus Go, or just click TV in the Oculus Go menu bar at the bottom of your screen. Your installed APK should be listed now under Unknown Sources. If it's not listed there, you may need to install an app launcher like App Starter. Thanks to the great folks out there in the Reddit world and Facebook communities who helped me with this because there were some apps I installed the first time I ever sideloaded an app. I couldn't find it. And someone suggested to install Kodi, an app, and there's another app called um, just App Starter. Um, so that's what I did. I ended up going to the Google Play Store, doing these exact same steps. I found searched App Starter, got that APK, installed it. 
App Starter was visible for me in Oculus TV. And from there, you'll see all the apps installed on your Oculus Go. Not just your siloed apps, but also the ones you installed through the Oculus Store. Although I probably wouldn't recommend launching them from there. If they're not sideloaded apps, I wouldn't recommend launching from launching your Oculus apps from the uh, Oculus TV. All right. Um, so I'll include a link in the description. It's probably on the slide behind me or in front of me or wherever I'm putting it right now um, for the App Starter app that I use. Um, I highly recommend it because other people recommended it to me and it works. Oh, I guess that's the end. So at this point, um, you should now be able to go to the Oculus TV app. You should be able to find your App Starter app, and you will see all the apps that you've sideloaded and your Oculus apps. I may need to do some research and see if I can find a better App Starter or some way to navigate or filter the folders, because it probably lists them in alphabetical order by um, uh, file name, but they might not be in alphabetical order by the file name you made. They may be in file... Um, in alphabetical order by the file name that the developer made because usually it's like com dot whatever the developer's name is dot whatever the game is dot apk um so you'll notice when you're scrolling through if you have a lot of apps sometimes it's hard to find the app you're looking for as far as i can tell app starter doesn't have like a favorite apps thing or something like that so i may personally do some more research to help find the apps that i launch all the time but right now i only have a handful of apps that i have side loaded anyways that i'll be using regularly and you'll probably be in the same boat as me especially since there's not really that much storage space on the go i have a 64 gigs so i have a lot of different apps on there right now but if you have a 32 gig you're probably not going to have a ton of side loaded apps or a ton of Oculus Store apps anyways, um, especially um, we're seeing more and more in-depth games that are getting larger and larger as well. All right, well, again, this is Philip from GoBros. Um, there'll probably be a new playlist thanks to this um, how-to video that I just made where I will then be putting um, sideload success episodes where I show you all the Android apps that I've been successful in sideloading onto the Go that I also found were a lot of fun and useful on the Go. And I may include some that I may figure figure after sideloading wasn't worth the effort. All right, again, this is Philip from Go Bros. I encourage you to check out all of our other shows on this channel, especially our main one, Go Bros, where my brother and I, from two states across the country, review multiplayer and social apps apps and experiences and games on the Oculus Go. And of course, check out Philip Plays and Y Sub 4 and then future episodes of Sideload Success. Again, I'm Philip with Go Bros. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.